Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish, and I'm not in my backyard. We're actually at Belle Isle State Park uh, camping this weekend. And um, first off, I want to say that the mosquitoes, when we say the mosquitoes are bad here, I mean, it's legit bad. I want you to look at this guy. This, look at that thing, is one of the mosquitoes here. It's like a freaking helicopter. It's a bird. <laughs> this, is, this should be the, the native bird for the area is that mosquito. But they're legit, so they're huge. Make sure you're prepared, bring your all your stuff. Um, if you need, you know, if you if you get bug bites, make sure you, you bring all the stuff that you can help prevent that. But uh, anyway, so today I'm going to be actually doing, I'm ex very excited. Um, on my Facebook page, I had asked um, for y'all's comments um, about um, the best way to make camp camping uh, coffee. And I got a definitely, I got a couple of different um, opinions. And one of these came from one of my great friends um, that she says she loves. She actually uses it at home all the time as well. And it's the um, dripper, um, like a dripper um, thing to make coffee. So here it is. I'm gonna try it out. This is it. Oops, I got a silly tag on it still. But here it is. You do use, I think, number two filters on it. And we're gonna give it a whirl. I've got my, um, got some coals going to warm up the water in my kettle. And uh, we're gonna see how it works. Give it a whirl. All right, so while my water is heating, I've set up the cup. Um, the, it is recommended. I was, I was hoping to use this bigger cup. You see this here? Um, but it doesn't fit. It's not secure here. So I had to go with a smaller cup where it is secure so it doesn't tip. Um, so that's okay. I just have to remember that for next time. And um, here it is set up. I've got my filter in and I've got um, the about two tablespoons of coffee grounds. I had to, I forgot my coffee, my regular coffee. So I had to open up my Keurig <laughs> coffee pods to get my coffee today, but that's okay. Um, and so now I'm just waiting for my water to heat and essentially I'm just gonna pour the, you know, half of this cup of water inside and um, we're just gonna let it drip make. It's gonna take a little time to make, but that's okay. I'm not going anywhere. All right, so Main Squeeze is being an awesome hero and he's gonna be pouring in the, this, I wouldn't say this is boiling water, it's very hot water though, right in. As long as the filter doesn't fall in, we should be good. And you can see it dripping down there. So it might be a slow pour. I think you can add some more. I will say, so this is a new little um, kit with the kettle. Um, that I'm using and um, I'll have to do a review on this at some point in time but I'm not so sure we're impressed by with the handle it's still well, inconclusive the way we used it probably wasn't great the flames true. were licking the handle that's true we could have put it on the induction burner should have put it on earlier ah true Um, we might be good with that dripping. We might have spillage. But I think that's good. Thanks, my squeeze. Essentially, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard. You kind of just see it dripping slowly. Again, the coffee grounds are right there. And it's a drip method. It takes longer. Sometimes you can get these um, specialty, <coughs> excuse me. I think it only took longer to boil the water. This is probably just as fast as the curate. Right, well. Um, Once you get the water boiled. Right, so when you when you do this in like a specialty coffee shop, it, it they're, they're like, it's gonna take a little longer. And you're like, okay. 
um, and some, and you usually pay a little bit more, um, which is funny because this is pretty darn easy. I've heard, I'm excited to try this because like I said, some of my really good friends, they've said that they totally, they use this at home. Um, and they just, they, they moved away from their own, um, their own uh, coffee pots. This is what they use. But they did say that it's really important to make sure it's secure to the, the cup because um, they've had it spill, like topple and spill before. So that's not cool. Pretty nifty. We might have added a, almost too much water. We'll see. All right, so I think it's done. I'm just going to lift this straight on up. And there's my cup of coffee. I'm going to doctor it up a little bit. Uh, I have drank coffee black before, but um, I prefer it not to be black. So <laughs> add my stuff. It's a little bit full, but it'll be good. All right, here's my doctored up cup of coffee and I'm ready to give this a taste. Sometimes I worry. Sometimes it's a little bit stronger. So we'll see. All right. So the little one's helping me out with some videoing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully she's got me in the shot. But here it is. I'm going to give it a taste. Okay. So it's not bad. Um, I will say that I don't think she's got me in the shot. Um, that it's a lot weaker than I typically like it. So it brewed through pretty fast. Little one. Is, am I in the shot? Okay, cool. The camera is like way down low. So I'm like, I don't know how it's going. So it's a little bit weaker. Then there you go. Than normal, I would say. So that might be more to do with my technique. And maybe mm -hmm. I should have poured a little at a time in. And let it drip a little at a time and drip. Yeah, I don't know. Because I imagine a lot of it bypassed the grounds. Maybe. Yeah, so that could be it. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this. I've never done drip coffee before. Stay still, please. Um, and um, she's just excited to be able to videotape for me. So, I mean, it's fine. It's a good cup of coffee. I'm going to drink it. And, uh, yeah, so I think I think it worked well. I'm going to give her a little hand here. Sorry, you really got my hand right there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the dripper, it seems to work pretty well. I'll put a link in the description below. I think it's called, like, a honey pot or honey... Um, I can't remember what, what some people call it, but I'll post that in the description, too. But, anyway pretty good cup of coffee well again hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review video and uh i'll have to uh try some other things i've got some other things up my sleeve but anyway hope you guys have a great one we're gonna go enjoy the day and until next saturday at 8 a.m bye this also holds my hair